This is question 15 from the GATE 2019 EC paper in which a circuit is shown having inputs A and B and an output F. We would like to know what the functionality of this circuit is. Underneath the question, you will find the title of the NPTEL course or video that is relevant to this topic. So let us look at forming the truth table for this circuit. Right? So when you give 0, 0 as input, so 0, 0, the P MOSs both get 0 and the N MOSs also both get 0, which means that the output f because the p MOSes are both turned on at logic 0 will be at vdd and MOSes are both off because n MOS turns off for logic 0 now for 0 1 right let's say a is 0 and b is 1 or vdd the n MOS here gets 1 and the p MOS here also gets the same one so this p MOS is off but since this NMOS is getting a 1, it's on and it has a 0 on its source. So it will drive the uh, voltage at F to 0. Sim and the case is of course uh, entirely symmetric for 1, 0. Right? In 1, 0, the opposite will happen and it will drive it through here with uh, this PMOS being turned off. And finally, in the case of 1, 1, uh, both the NMOSes will be turned on and both the PMOSes will be turned off. And uh, what will happen is that the NMOSes will drive the output to VDD. Technically, it will be driven to VDD minus VTH because an NMOS if you have if you've given vdd here and vdd here uh, i'm sorry if you've given uh, a vdd here and vdd here and let's say you have a capacitor here which is at zero volt that means that this is the gate to source voltage is uh, vdd vdd presumably is greater than vth what will happen is that the capacitor will charge up for as long as the vgs is greater than vth right right now the vgs is which is this you know gate and source right now the vgs is vdd and it will keep rising until vgs is equal to vth when will vgs be equal to vth the gate is at vdd right so it will happen when so the gate is at vdd vdd minus vs is equal to vth this will happen when Vs is equal to Vdd minus Vth. So in this situation, the output will rise up to Vdd minus Vth, right? Uh, but uh, we are not given whether uh, the we, we are uh, we are probably asked to assume that the transistors are ideal, and so therefore the output this can also be treated as a logic one. That is uh, the assumption is that Vdd is far greater than vth and so this uh, doesn't cross the logic one boundary so this is the truth table right and uh, clearly you can see that for in for when the inputs are same the output is logic high and when the inputs are different the output is logic low this is the functionality of an x nor circuit right thus the correct option is b which is x naught